Hey everybody, this is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Vorek. This is a look ahead to the Sixers and Spurs. The Spurs are 32 and 18. Obviously, one of the hardest things against the Spurs is to be able to solve pop. We did that last time. We won the game last time against them on January 3rd. But that game, they did rest a lot of their guys when we beat them 112 to 106. Aldridge had a good game. He always tends to have a good game against the Sixers. But the biggest thing about the Spurs is you have to find a way to get to that 112. The Sixers did very good at scoring that game when the Spurs only allowed 97.4 points per game, which is first out of 30 teams. Although their offense of points per game is much lower than usual this year. The Spurs are winning most of their basketball game this year on the merit of their defense. And the Sixers have a good offense. So... Hopefully, the Sixers' offense again outweighs their defense like it did last game. And the Spurs, like it happened last game, we can't catch the amount of points we have. But that's going to be easier said than done when the Spurs have some of the guys in they didn't have in last game that bring their whole team together. So, this game's going to be a lot harder. The Sixers are going to have to play a great game, play a very good defensive game, definitely guard the three well. Uh, that goes for both teams because both of these teams have shooters. The Spurs will have to go to the three well on us. But, I mean, the the Spurs won't have Manu Ginobili tonight. He's still injured. They also will not have Kawhi Leonard because he's still injured. Patty Mills, another guy that tends to tear up the Sixers. A uh, good shooter, you got to watch him. You obviously have to watch Aldridge. Aldridge and Pau Gasol. Aldridge more so has added a threes game. Pau Gasol kind of has one. But, um, got to watch their big guy ability to shoot. Rudy Gay, of course, is injured as well. He's about a couple weeks away from ret- returning. And then, obviously... Danny Green, if you're talking about threes, but the big guy, the key guy for the Sixers to watch is the Marcus Aldridge, because every time the Sixers in recent games have played Marcus Aldridge, he has had very good games, because those games we haven't been able to win some, and you look back and go, okay, well, who cares, because he had a great game, because it's what we want. But it still proves the point that we definitely have to make sure we can contend him better to win some of these games because right now with the injuries they have, he's one of their main go-to guys, if not really. When Ginobili's not healthy, he might, because, and, and even when Ginobili's healthy, where he's at this point in his career, when Kwai's out, when Parker's out, when it's just kind of LaMarcus and the other guys, he's kind of their go-to guy, and then Patty Mills provides all the the other sports. It's kind of those two dudes. So... The Sixers just need to do a good job of defending them, which is one thing they didn't do a good job of last game. But again, last game, our offense came out as like an onslaught. We did very well, and we just kept it going. That would be a formula to win this game again. But that's hard to do back-to-back games against San Antonio, especially when a great all-time, one of the best all-time coaches in pop can game plan for you from a game that you played fairly recently, I mean, within this month. So... It, it's not really going to be, I'm not trying to say it's going to be a astronomically harder game than the game we won, but we definitely have to play better because even adding Tony Parker in, Tony Parker adds a lot to their just so don't be able to add ball movement because he's reportedly is playing tonight and won't rest against the Sixers, so... With him in, he adds a lot of extra passing, a lot of extra ball movement, a lot of extra playmaking. So that's something the Sixers have to look out for too. So the main three keys for the Sixers to win this game are play tight defense, especially on the perimeter against these guys. We're lucky Ginobili's out because I feel like Ginobili's a guy, I think he has killed us in the past, but he's a guy that, would be one of those like jugger like one of those out of the blue guys that just kill the Sixers in a game because we had so many of those guys this year already. It's ridiculous, like Justin Holidays of the world go on and on and on. But 
The other one will be our offense. Obviously, we need our offense to do as well. Better is a stretch because we did really good last game, but do as well or do near as well as they did last game against this team because they have one of the the best-ranked defense, actually, so it's not going to be easy. So they need to come out really strong like they did last game. Joel needs to get going. Ben needs to get going. Everyone needs to get going early. Hopefully TLC keeps on his hot streak because he's been helping us a lot lately. So everybody just needs to get going early, and we'll be able to win this game. And third key is stopping the Marcus Aldridge and Patty Mills combination. Because whenever Patty Mills and the Marcus Aldridge always do damage against us, especially when Kwai and Ginobili are not on the lineup, and and that so now you gotta adjust and you got to take advantage of a lot of those guys not being in the lineup and just game plan for these two people which it seemed like we didn't do that well last game because we should know by now guys like Aldridge still take advantage of it sometimes especially he himself takes advantage of the Sixers at times and so does Patty Mills so I think if we game plan for them we definitely should have this game in the bag if we don't game plan for them well will we come out sluggish against a Spurs team in San Antonio they're almost impossible to come back from if you go down early by a decent deficit so this is going to be a key game for the Sixers to come out early if they want to win this one and not have to battle back in the end because battling back in the end against San Antonio is like hell so hopefully the Sixers come out strong get a lot of offense going get a lot of rebounds going get some buckets in transition play some great defense get some exciting play should be a good game it was last game we played them it was one of the better games of the season actually so this has been a look ahead a pregame to the Sixers game have a good night everyone peace out have a good weekend peace